right? They have a lot of new programs that they want to come up with. And with these new programs, come cost money, right? So the hardest part of any politician is it's not giving away the money. That's hard, but it's raising your taxes. That's hard, right? So then, so they're trying to tell you that they don't have to raise your taxes. How can how can that be? How can they how can they come after? How can they do all these new things and give away all this money and not raise any, anybody's taxes? Well, it's it's a scam in my opinion, because of course they have to raise your taxes. But here's and that's why they've been trying to they've been feeding us this about the cryptocurrency and uh, uh, the billionaire tax. And I've talked a lot about this on this show. These bil the billionaires tax returns that came out, they don't pay any taxes. And uh, the cryptocurrency, they're not paying taxes. So they have this idea that if they just intensify the audits, well, then they can get more money and they won't have to raise any money. They can, they can raise $700 billion on just more enforcement. Kind of reminds me of the uh, of the the you know let's just get rid of the waste and the fraud every every year every four years the new uh, presidential candidates tell us they're just going to get rid of that well we just get rid of the the waste and the fraud and we'll be fine everything will be great um, so there's a good there's a story here uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this I'm gonna read the story from uh, actually this is from um, the WLS. Uh, has has a story listed. It's it's listed in a couple of different places today, but I wanted to put it on WLS because, as you know, I, I have advertised on WLS, been on WLS uh, on many occasions. Um, they ask me sometimes for tax advice, and so I wanted to put their website up. But how much money could Biden raise for infrastructure through tougher IRS enforcement? It's not clear. Well, of course it's not clear. Okay. So what they're going to do is they're going to spend all this money and tell you this is how they're going to pay for it, but they can't pay for it with this. Okay. But let's let's read this. Let's read the story and find out. Uh, President Joe Biden wants to raise money for his ambitious economic agenda by ramping up enforcement at the Internal Revenue Service, a way for the federal government to spend more money without raising taxes or adding to the deficit, making it a win-win in the eyes of lawmakers. Yeah, we'll do it later. We'll get the money later. We're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of all the waste in front. We're gonna. We're gonna collect this tax gap. And I talk about the tax gap a lot on on my other show, but on this show too, I can talk about the tax gap. Now the tax gap. Well, let's see if we can. Let's see. Uh, let's get the IRS's definition about what the tax gap is. The tax gap is the difference between the amount of tax owed by the taxpayers for a given year, and the amount that is actually paid timely for that same year. It represents, in dollar terms, an estimate of the annual amount of non-compliance with our tax laws. Now, of course, you know I'm a, I help people with taxes, and uh, and compliance is the big thing, right? So they compliance, they you know the 84 percent. I think it's in the story. 84 percent of all of all uh, Americans pay their taxes on time and uh, file on time. 84 percent. And another big percentage of them pay after they, they they pay late, but they do pay. Okay, they pay late, but they pay. Uh, but some people get away without paying. How many? They don't know. Okay, so they don't know how many. It's all an estimate. They're guessing. And one of the guesses is, hey, cryptocurrency means it's so much more. We thought it would seven hundred billion. We now we think it's one point five trillion. Okay, so the number has gone up dramatically in the last 12 months. And they've been telling us this over the last 12, you know, since the election, November. Why have they been telling us? So they can come up with this plan. So they can spend all this money, not raise your taxes. But the 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 um, the truth is, the dirty truth is, of course they're going to raise your taxes. They're going to tell you they're not. They're going to spend it first and then they won't. it won't materialize. And then they'll have to find another way. Or they won't. They'll just print the money. Reducing the tax. So let's see where we are here. Many commentators have pointed to the tax gap as a round a roadmap for funding additional national priorities, cut taxes, or limit the need for tax increases. They re, they reason that the government should prioritize full payment of taxes already legally owed before it looks to impose additional tax obligations on the public. It is an important topic. So yeah, you know uh, who's coming up with this this story there? You think that's the IRS coming up? No, that's the administration coming up with it. It's more, in my opinion. It's more propaganda. It's more propaganda telling you, don't worry, we're going to spend all this money, but there's so much money out there that people don't pay. And nobody likes when people don't pay the taxes, right? Everybody wants everybody to pay their, their fair share. But let me, whatever that is, right? 
Fair share means the other guy should pay more than you. That's the fair. That's fair share. Okay. So, uh, so what is the the fair share? And that's that's really what's coming up. So, and again, it's easy to get people angry about and say, hey, yeah, we we could do all these wonderful things if people just didn't uh, cheat on their taxes. But most people aren't cheating on their taxes, and I help a lot of people who are behind in their taxes. But who who are? Let's think about this now. Who are the people that are behind in their taxes? You know, who, who are those people? They're not W-2 employees, right? If I have a job and I'm a W-2 employee, right? The government gets my money right away, right? Every time I get a paycheck, my, my employer takes the money out and sends it to the IRS, right? So they're getting that money. Um, so who is it that's pay, that's, that's uh, they're coming after? Small business people. They're the ones, they're, they're the, they're the, the that, are, that are not paying their taxes, as the government tells us. They're the ones they want to go after. They're the ones they've been trying to shut down with the whole COVID shutdown. Who's, who suffered the most with the COVID? Not, you know, not government employees. They got paid. They never missed a check. You know, how about people who are running their own restaurant? Did they suffer? Well, I think they suffered a lot, didn't they? They, you know, small business people, the, the retailers, not the big box stores, not the big corporations. They didn't suffer. Right. So the people that were suffering the most were the small business people. And they always are the ones that suffer the most. And so they'll go after the small business person through increased audits. Right. So now they'll start collecting. Now, even though they won't get near the money they say they will, doesn't mean they're not going to try. 